So, today is my first ever live on this account. And we're going to start with demolding all of these. This was my messiest pour, so there's going to be a lot of sanding that needs to be done. So, let's start with the demolding the knives. And yeah, I'm going to need to do some trimming and sanding so that the holes are open on the back as well. But I got a lot of pretty shinies that I made. And I'm going to make them into keychains, like for self-defense and stuff. Now these two, I tried to do kind of like a blood sp splatter effect. I think it probably would have been better with a black background, but... Oh well. Alright, now we have all the knives demolded. Now let's demold the punchers. And yes, I have a pile of leftover resin over here. I need to get a better container for it. So, lots of trimming is going to be needed on this one as well. But for, and I will be painting the punchers so that all the little details on the faces can be shown off. But, yeah, I'm excited. This one... We've got some black and gold going on. <laughs> okay. You you can call dibs. Well, a little bit, but I can't really do too much about that. Yeah. They can just admire all my sexiness. <laughs> and then we have our little claw puncher. So let's start with doing some trimming. Trying to be, you know, algorithm safe with what I'm using to trim. So how's everybody else doing? Now, if you look at the top, you'll see I have a live gold today, and that's because, well, I'm trying to save up for a walker slash wheelchair thing. So that, on my bad days, I can actually get around a little easier and not have to crawl around or be carried. Not that I mind carrying you. You're not supposed to be carrying me. So, that's why I have a live goal. Yeah, 
this one's gonna require a lot more um, off-camera trimming and stuff. So, I'm just gonna get as much as I can on live, but, yeah. Just so you know, you're not really in camera on live. I'm trying! But that's going to need some more trimming later. I'm just trying to help. I know. I definitely over poured a lot more than I was planning to. Filming pouring videos is apparently not the best idea for me yet. Mm -hmm. What we'll have to do is I'll film while you pour. But so how is everybody else doing? How is how's your day going? What have you been up to? There. Oh, excuse me. I've been kind of mad all day. My belly's not feeling so good. That piece shot off into who knows where. And that way. Hello, Luna. That was Love Bug swatting at Luna in play. Uh, okay. I didn't see it. I just heard Luna. We've got both cats in here now. So, I will. Hi, Luna. I love bug. Both of the girls. Gotta give them their bit of screen time. Love Bug is our game addict, and Luna is our well trained ESA. Hey, hey! Hello! Welcome, welcome! 
we will be getting into the actual crafting part of this momentarily. Right now I'm just kind of doing a little bit of clean up on these. Then we'll do some actual crafting. But I did. But I just, I love how they turned out. Especially this one. This one turned out really good. But now I'm gonna move these out of the way for now. All right. So now I'm gonna mix up some resin. I'm gonna start off camera because I need the light. Well, at least for the pouring the resin into the uh, container, the mixy container. Yeah, words. I'm so great with words, aren't I? You're so great. <laughs> You're doing amazing. All right. Got the resin and hardener poured in. So let's mix that up right quick. Now you don't want to mix it super fast like you see in all those sped up videos because then it doesn't mix properly and that's all a mess. So you mix it pretty slow and I should put my gloves on. Before I make a mess. Oh, I've already started. Lovely. Now I'm going to add a little bit of silver glitter using a tiny scoop. What? Mm -hmm. Sounded like you were laughing a little <clears throat> bit. Oh, yeah. Blum. And then I'm going to mix in that glitter. which still keeps the resin fairly clear. So I know it's mixed properly enough to add the colorants. But it also means I don't forget the glitter. 
Not that I necessarily have that problem, but. Hey, Joe. Okay. That should be fairly thoroughly mixed, and if it's not, not a big huge deal since I'm gonna keep mixing it for the pigments anyhow. So first I'm going to use this mica powder that's iridescent purple. And we're gonna take about that much and dump that in. I might add more later, I don't know yet. And then we've got some liquid resin pigment in amethyst because I mean one two three drops to start and mixy mixy mix mixy 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 mix until it's all thoroughly mixed in. I like to rotate my cup while doing like a this kind of motion. Scraping along the sides and everything to ensure everything's thoroughly mixed. Two, three commented normally I get notifications when friends go live today I didn't hopefully I didn't miss too much you just missed me on uh, molding uh, the last batch of the self-defense keychain stuff and me starting the mixing process for the this rune set pretty much Mm, what do you think? More mica? Based on how it looks on camera? Right now all I'm seeing is gross. Um, maybe a little more, but not too much, because if you get too much of the glitter in it... It's not glitter. Well, what I'm saying is the too much of the sparkliness, that's all that shows up. Yeah. A little bit more mica. Thank you. I'm using a little bit of iridescent purple and mica powder. And some amethyst resin pigment. And please, if you have anyone who you think would enjoy watching my live, watching me craft, or anything, I sent it to the cousin. Feel free to share the live. Might make another batch of the self defense puncher things, because I think those are fun. I'm going to try to have an Etsy drop on the 15th where I drop a bunch of stuff that I've made then, but I cannot guarantee anything with how my disabilities have been acting up and getting worse. <laughs> Alright, that should be plenty mixed. So now I'm going to start pouring into my mold and I need to pour a little slower because I'm doing the thing again. Because we do 
do not want to fill these all the way up because they don't like it for some reason with this particular mold. So I'm just trying to pour slowly and I'm sure all you can see is probably my hand right now. Let's see how well I can do pouring with the other hand. Because I'm right handed, so using my left hand for this is not natural for me. What if you move stuff to the other side? And flip the camera around. <sighs> There's too much of a mess over here. I mean for next time. Maybe. Looks like we might end up with a little excess resin. So. It may be the angle, but the um, top left side, left side closest to you, looks like it's not as full as the others. Well, they're not supposed to be completely full. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that they don't, they didn't look like it had as much as the others. And actually, this side is actually more full. All right, so yeah. Gonna move that over to the side. And let's see. Which of our little friends sh do we think should be in the purple glitter mix? We've got a skull, skull, dog, a raven head, owl head, paw print, and cat. Which one should get the leftover resin? Owl? Everybody okay with it going into the owl? Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Now I'm just going to start with being very careful around getting it into all of the nooks and crannies. And I still have some leftover resin. So which one should get the rest of it? We can still do the dog, the skull, the raven head, the cat, or the pauper. I think it would look good with the cat. I think so too. Mm -hmm. 
Joseph and Cat. Joseph and Cat. Do we got consensus? We've got two votes for the cat. And Three votes for the cat. Yeah. All right. And on the next live, when we go and paint everything, or however I do it, next video when I go and paint everything, I might do a poll to figure out whether I should use white or black paint. And since what was left after that would not be enough to fill up one of these, Let's just fill up these. Can you take an empty one now? The bottom corner one that you're putting on YouTube. Yeah. Those three at this end don't have any symbols in it. Oh, okay. They're just blanks? Mm hmm. Uh, and I don't know enough about runes to know if that's needed or if it was just an add-on for excess resin. It's something we can ask you on. Yeah. <laughs> Cats are cool. Now I'm going to take my gloves off carefully, very carefully, because I've got resin all over them. Oops. And it's sticking to everything. And then I will move the camera a bit. Do, do you know how to? Here, let me show you a trick. Okay. Mostly. Sometimes getting it started is a little iffy. Do you need help moving them? Yes, I made that one because you requested it. Dude, this one is gorgeous. I know, right? He's looking at the ones I already demolded on the video, on the live. this is going to be tricky. Here, I'll get it. I've, I've got it. It's just gonna be tricky. Blank runes are apparently important, but normally there's only one. Get to now. Get to now. Okay. Give me the changey thing. Do 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 do. Settings probably. No. Apparently your cup was on the floor too. Which cup? The cup you just used. I am trying to get it to let me, there we go, flip camera, there we go, <laughs> what, huh, love bug, oh. watching your live, my, my, okay, now that I remembered how to do it, your live is so entertaining, the cat is watching it. That's adorable. Uh, 
Hey. Look, it's you, love bug. <laughs> ha have to give the cats the appreciation. Luna. Come here, Luna. Oh, so regal. Because, of course, and seriously, Love Bug is watching my life. But, adorable. Adorable. Now, I will eventually be filming most scenes from that desk for my other TikTok and my YouTube channels and stuff. But for now, yeah, no. Now, here's the custom room set that I did a while back, but I need to... What the, what are you doing? I need to file the back. Or sand the back. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Thank you. Very much appreciated. Blank rune is apparently the rune equivalent of the fool from the tarot deck. So, I'm just flipping these all over so I know which ones I haven't filed yet. And this may sound awful. I do not know. I've gotten used to it. Just make sure all the edges are at least smooth and not sharp at all. Apparently we can play Overwatch for free. Yeah, I believe that's Overwatch 2 or something. I'm not... Yeah, I don't know. And I have no real interest in it. And my friend, uh, Kathy, uh, has been having issues with the Overwatch lately, so. Well, thank you. I feel like I'm a mess. As usual. Shush, you are always gorgeous. Why can't I? There will be no sharpy chirp edges. Because you know, if your runes cause you to bleed, that's a bad sign. Yep. I've already had pendulums make me bleed. Well, one. And it got named Mr. Stabby. But dang, was it accurate, though. Well, like they say, if you have a knife that hasn't cut you, then it's not really your knife. So I think 198 out of 200 are my knives. The other ones are too dull to cut anything. Fair. It okay, uh, Joe? Technically, and 
maybe not doing it over your lap. Or at least have something to catch it. Oh, I know. Excuse me for being concerned with your safety. <laughs> Nick. Oof. Excuse me. I have, like, really bad nausea right now for some reason. Have been for the past couple of days, so I'm burping a lot. on saving up for a wheelchair slash walker scene since uh, I have mobility issues that are progressively getting worse and I'm at the point where I need that which sucks but yeah but hey when I get it, you'll get a life of me decorating the heck out of it. Possibly several. Depending on if I paint uh, the backrest or not. Because I couldn't leave my cane being boring. There's no way on earth I'm gonna leave a walker wheelchair boring either. Might as well do it this way. is actually pretty much easier. Yeah. <sighs> Except 
in the shoulder. What? 
some some of these clay designs I can't the CLC is defeating me. Has joined. Hey hey. Sorry I'm not talking much. Comments help with that. I didn't. My partner has no faith in me. No, your partner's just OCD with messes. And you're dating a crafter? In my defense, my ex claimed to be a crafter and look at the messes they'd leave. That is what I'm used to dealing with. So do, do, does my comments make a little more sense? This is craft mess in craft space. It is contained. And it's not like I have a mini vacuum or anything to clean up all the dust. We can get one. I know, but we don't have the money for it. Our little, our vacuum has a good hose with little attachments for fat stuff too. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. It's not like I'm going to be cleaning up all of the sanding mess while I'm still sanding. Okay. That just makes no sense. I'm used to different crafting. Woodworking, where you have a vacuum going to suck up all the wood chips and sawdust. Because if not, and and haven't I proven to you that I at least keep the glitter contained? Yes.
Dusty Designs says, honestly, the dust is more controlled than when I use dermal on the clay, or a, dr a dremel on the clay. See? Which, we do have access to dremels. If you need them. I don't know. Okay. At some point, I will grab the dremels. What would I need a dremel for right now? Not right now. But on some of your, like, yeah, like in the eyes of the um, self defense ones to sand them out. Okay, for that, yeah. Now, if I had another silicon mat, but I don't, I'd be working on the body for this little guy. But I made the dragon head. I made the dragon head. And that is the most adorable of dragon heads. I still need to put in the white eyeballs and stuff, but I made a dragon head for the first time. I kind of based this face a little bit on our little snake. So you get the nose and the mouth like him. Little boop snoop. Yep. We, we have a snake named Spartacus. He's, he's a, the cutest of boop snoop. He, he, he's adorable. He's a sweetheart. So I, I base my dragon's head on him because of course. And when I get to the after it's baked stage, I might add like a little bit of paint in the mouth. I don't know. I don't know yet. This is my first dragon. I hadn't worked with polymer clay and God's only know how long, and my first lane was like, let's make a dragon. Well, you know, Clay Designs might be able to give some tips. I think I followed them. Maybe. Yep. We're friends. <coughs> but, yeah. So I'm I'm gonna make a cute little dragon body for that, and I'm thinking of doing wire wings with UV resin for the colors. Ooh. Since what I was originally planning on doing for the wings is not happening. That that's fair. I do. Um, symmetrical on each side and cut it in half and resin over the leaves and use those for the wings let's see if we have any of the British ivy leaves leaves that work real nice yeah I I usually make little watermelon earrings charms and that's pretty much it believe it or not I've actually sculpted with clay quite a bit when I was younger. I also had a, a ceramics class when I was in third grade and made a little hanging uh, plant holder thingy for Mother's Day. You know, the whole multiple firing in the kiln. Back when I was young, we couldn't afford the clay, so we made bread clay, clay out of bread, and mom still has some of the stuff that I sculpted out of it. Yeah. You know, 30 years later. There's also salt, though, that you can sculpt with. Okay, never heard of that one. Guessing it's an off brand of Play Doh. It's a homemade clay that you can make that I learned about on Pagan Tumblr. Just don't put it that you can use as offerings on your. I, I want to do that too. I just can't afford the classes. And um, there's some. Pottery places around here that 
give classes, some of which might be free. You still have to at least pay for the materials. Mm -hmm. That's why I said I can't afford it right now. Let me talk to mom. Mom used to have like t a ton of bricks of clay. Like pottery, pottery clay? Sculpting clay that you, they used to make, you know, volcanoes and stuff out of. Yeah, uh, th this is, this is pottery clay, not sculpting clay, because yeah. I would, although the sculpting clay, I, I might want to, is it, is it air dry, or? I couldn't tell you, probably. Okay, then, air dry is not the best for products that you want to make and be able to sell or wear or anything. And there's a lot of clay deposits around here too, like in the quarries and stuff. We could go get our own clay. I know it's not, you know, ideal, but to practice with. But whether or not it'll be accepted in the classes is the question. Well, no, I'm, I'm saying to practice here at home with. We don't have a pottery wheel. I'm sure I can figure out how to make one. Probably. I'm My favorite thing to craft, I like making jewelry and small things. Let's cook a long roller up to a table plate. <laughs> Babe, I already have ideas that don't involve that. I'm just figure, trying to figure out the freaking drill part. Drill part? The part that does the, that keeps it spinning. Like how you have a foot pedal for sewing machine. We don't want to go the full tearing apart one of the lawnmowers. That wants to keep moving forward. We, we can get one of the, we can just go get a cheap drill. And then put it on, put it upside down and have something on the trigger of it. So when you press down. Yeah, it, it. it's the <laughs> suspending the drill so it doesn't fall apart. I see, you just build a wood frame for it. Okay. <laughs> you, you forget, this is the stuff I used to do when I was a kid for fun. No, I don't. I'm just trying to come up with ideas myself for once. Sorry. I'll be quiet. I wasn't trying to undermine your creativity. I was just trying to share my creative ideas as well. Like, tech stuff I normally don't like that. I normally haven't been allowed or listened to on anything. Just like I'm normally not listened to on budgeting. Maybe. You know that any crafting ideas you have, I will listen to and wholeheartedly support and help you do to the best of my abilities. That does not negate the fact that I have ideas of my own that I'd like to share with you just as you like to share your ideas with me, right? I know, which... Exactly. More reasons why I left William. Especially after, you know, communicating where the lines were and it not being fun anymore and him not listening to me worth a damn. But I love budgeting. Like, 
I could probably be a legit accountant person and enjoy it. It's a way numbers make sense to me, but I don't have the actual education levels to be an actual accountant. I might just have you do the dr drilling for the keychains, though. Okay. It hurts. I can do that. That's another thing where the Dremels will come in handy, too. Do they have bits small enough? Mm-hmm. But I, I also really like making my back keychains. All the keychains. Actually, I think those drill bits do fit in my drill. They do. Do you want me to grab that? What? <sighs> okay, warning, this might get a little loud. No. Oh, there's the drill. Okay, yeah. so this one did not set up. I guess I didn't mix it right or something. So this one cannot be used. How about Nope. Yep, that one's good. <sighs> the one problem with resin. I will be back. Love bug, don't drink all my coffee. <laughs> what? Love bug, drink your coffee. Uh huh. Yeah, this one's just too thin. Actually, I think these two are.
that that just stops it. Yeah, that just stops it. Yep. Wait, wait. Oh, okay. Never mind. And once I get all the eye screws in, then I can worry about the jump rings and the keychains. However, I'm going to need to get more keychains soon. That's a thing that I need to remember to put on my master list of important priority things. Yeah, yeah, I know the drill makes it a bit quicker. Right, and we've now got a bunch of bats ready to be keychainified. But considering I'm not feeling so great, I think that was, this was long enough for my first live. So I will see y'all next week and I will keep posting updates on my crafts. See y'all later. Bye!